France's economy continues to grow in the second quarter. And BT's profits slumped by more than 40%. Well, this is how the markets are shaping up to close this Friday afternoon. Well, most European bourses are lower, following on from the sell-off over in the US, especially with tech stocks. That's after Amazon reported its lowest profit for seven quarters and forecast a further slip over the next three months. France's economy grew by 0.5% in the second quarter of 2017, representing the ninth quarterly rise. Well, this growth is being supported by a surge in exports, which rose by 3.1% in April to June, while imports only rose by 0.2%. Consumer spending rose too, but business investment slowed. These figures will come as a boost for the country's new Prime Minister, Emmanuel Macron, who was elected in May on the promise of overhauling the French economy. In corporate news, BT's profits slumped more than 40% in the first quarter after it was forced to pay out £225 million to two shareholders following the accounting scandal at its Italian operation. BT is paying the money to Deutsche Telekom and Orange to avoid legal action over the issue. The share price plunged £8 billion in January after the company revealed the details of its problems in Italy. And it remains about 20% lower than this time last year. Barclays has reported a net loss of £1.21 billion for the first half of this year. That's thanks to what they say, the weakness of the pound, a charge from the mis-selling of payment protection insurance and a loss from the sale of its Africa unit, which was part of Barclays' plan to focus on the UK and the US. The bank has set aside an extra £700 million to meet compensation claims for mis-selling of payment protection insurance. But overall, the bank revealed a chunky 13% jump in half-year pre-tax profits to £2.34 billion. So those results actually had a lot of people um, scratching their heads this morning because they are quite misleading and confusing at first sight. Um, another European banking giant then, Switzerland's largest bank, UBS. It posted 1.7 billion Swiss francs in net profits, a 14% increase from last year. IAG is gaining after reporting a rise in half-year profits. The British Airways owner has managed to shrug off the computer failure in May that led to thousands of holidaymakers being stranded either at Heathrow Airport or abroad. Although the company did say that it has cost the airline £58 million in costs. OK, let's now look ahead to next week and what's happening uh, specifically here in Europe because we've got the consumer price index and unemployment figures for the Eurozone. We've also got German retail sales on the list too for Monday. On Tuesday, it's the Eurozone's GDP report for the second quarter. We've also got manufacturing reports from both France and Germany. Midweek, it's the Eurozone producer price index. And Thursday... It's Super Thursday, which means it's the Bank of England's interest rate decision, the quantitative easing report, the MPC meeting minutes and the inflation report. And that's the one that we're going to be concentrating on. Friday, more numbers from Europe's biggest economy with Germany's factory orders. We've got some construction data as well. So it's going to be a busy one. Thank you very much indeed for watching. That's all from me here in London. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you on Monday.